I want to talk today about the size of the sensor in your digital camera. Now for years we've been concerned about how many megs the camera was. 4 megs, 6 megs, 8 megs, 10 megs, up to 14 megs with the new cameras. That has a lot to do with your, the quality of your pictures, but so does the actual physical size of the sensor. Now full frame is the same size that 35 millimeter film used to be. Just smaller than that is the APS size sensor, and then again smaller is the micro four thirds. Now it turns out that the physical size of the sensor has a lot to do with the size of the pixels on the sensor. If you've got 10 megs of pixels and they're jammed into a small sensor, the pixels themselves are smaller. But if you put them on a larger APS size sensor, the pixels can be larger, which gives you better color, better sharpness, better resolution, better photographs all around. So think of this small sunflower seed for a second. If you had a thousand seeds jammed on there, the seeds would have to be a lot smaller than they would be on this larger sunflower seed. So the physical size, even though the same amount of seeds or the same amount of pixels, the physical size of the space makes quite a difference. With the larger APS size sensor, you can get larger pixels, better color, better low light, better sharpness. Now the new Sony NEX camera, it uses the, the full APS size sensor, the same sensor that they use in their popular digital SLR cameras. They've taken that sensor, put it in a point and shoot size camera with interchangeable lenses. So you've got a large APS sensor giving you larger pixels, better color, better low light than you could have if you had a smaller sensor.